Hi guys, welcome to Tech Tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how to install multi RAM on our Samsung Galaxy S3 LT. Just you need to copy out this file which is required to install multi RAM on our device. Just copy out via the USB cable from your PC to your com device. As I have placed all the links in description. Now you must have Cyanogen mode 12.1 installed on your device to install multi ROM manager. As here you can see, as I have copied all the things in my internal storage of my device. So you need to do the same thing. Then I am enabling the advanced reboot option to place our device in recovery mode and in download mode as well just place your mobile into recovery mode and click ok now it will be rebooting our device so if you want to do manually just press volume up home key and power key at the same time to place your mobile at recovery just we have booted in recovery mode successfully so we need to install cyanogen mode 12.1 exec.zip file just click on install button then scroll down to so cyanogen mode 12.1 exec.zip file and then tap on it select it and then just sweep to confirm the flash After flashing, you need to reboot your system. So we are now rebooting our device. Mm. Now we have booted in Synergen mode 12.1, and we need to install Multi ROM Manager app. Go to file manager and install multi ROM manager on your device. Now it will be installing, then you click on open. Now it will be showing file to get root access. We need to enable it from developer option. Just go to developer option. If you didn't find, just type on build number seven times to get developer option, then refresh. No, it doesn't show. We don't have multi RAM as well, multi ROM recovery, and then we don't have any secondary ROMs didn't install on our device. So we need to install first multi ROM as well modified recovery of multi ROM. Then place your mobile in the recovery mode. Click OK. Now it will be rebooting our device. Now we have in recovery mode just select multi ROM zip and flash it. And select multi ROM then flash it. So go back and we need to install modified recovery. Just click on install button then images then we need to scroll down to recovery.img file and select recovery then sweep to confirm flash that's all we have flashed multi ram zip and as well modified recovery and you need to boot your device in recovery mode to flash Cyanogen mode 11 as secondary ROM click on advanced button 
click on advanced button then multi rom and then after we need to select add rom oh, just uh, click on advanced button then after multi rom then after we need to select add rom multi rom then after add rom mm, just click on next button click on next then select zip file select cyanogen mode 11 and then just sweep to confirm flash no i am in first edition so okay just first install the cyanogen mode 11 Sweep to flash it will be take some amount of time just you need to wait until the completion of flashing process mm -hmm. installing chrome so we have Cyanogen mode 12.1 as a primary and Cyanogen mode 11 is secondary ROM that you can all find in multi ROM manager app using manage ROMs. So now it will be flashing. Oh, now we have successfully flashed the Cyanogen mode 11 as secondary ROM. Just reboot your system. We have to check whether it will be installed. Now it will be rebooting our device. Keep it in mind, Cyanogen mode 12.1 is as primary and Cyanogen mode 11 as secondary ROM. Just go to multi ROM manager APK snap and inside that you can find the manage ROM and you have seen that we have flashed secondary ROM Cyanogen mode 11 manage roms just yes. you can find that cyanogen mode 11 as secondary rom just yes, you need to reboot your device to flash cyanogen mode kexec.zip file rebooting in recovery mm -hmm. select advanced multi rom then list rom then select the synergen mode 11 <coughs> zip file then we need to flash kexe file just tap Mm, select from drop down menu then sweep to flash it first do you first booting will take some amount of time so be patient first we need to boot our device in synergen mode 12.1 then we need to select uh, synergen mode 11 from second as secondary row oh yeah the multi ram manager apk just open multi ram manager select or tap on cyanogen mode 11 and select boot so it will be boot our device in cyanogen mode 11 here you can find first boot will take 20 to 30 minutes so please be patient mine also take the same time to boot here you can see we have cyanogen mode 12 point as primary and cyanogen mode 11 as secondary using multi rom mm. 
more it will be booting so we have complete the process of booting just click on escape and then skip it oh no i want to disable the location settings click on next 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 that's all we have flashed the multi rom on our samsung galaxy s3 lt thanks for watching like my video subscribe and share it to your friends thanks for watching bye bye we will see you in next video so how to uninstall the multi rom manager